Hey everybody, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to take a look at Generate Series once again, but we're going to use it to fill in the gaps between our observed data in the database and perhaps a date range we need to generate a report. So last time we saw Generate Series generate a range of, of values. So we were looking at 1 through 10 and 5 to 15 and experimenting with the different results when we used left, inner, and right joins. Um, here I'm using it in a slightly different way. You can see I'm generating a range of dates uh, from January 1st, 07 through the end of the year using an interval of one day. And what this is, there's a pro so we're going to join this on to um, our data from payment. So if we quickly look at payment and you look at the date column, you're going to see that while we have, you know, 15,000 rows or so, we certainly don't have one for every day of the year. So if somebody said, hey, Jeff, or hey, whoever you are, we need data by week, or we need a daily chart of sales by day, and we want to know if we don't have sales that day, then you can't use a query on this table alone because you don't have every day in it. So. What we can do is we can use this as a basis to um, join data onto. So we could say left join payment P on GS date equals, I'm sorry, on just GS equals P dot payment date. And we're going to want to get, let's say, P dot We'll do some PDOT amount. And we'll run into an error here because we need to group by the date. So we'll use one. Okay. Let's see if we have any values here. No values. What we're going to have to do is convert the payment date, which is a date and timestamp, to just a date. And now that returns. Uh, actual joins where the day on the left has a, a matching date to the payment table on the right. And you can see here, let's make sure we're ordering by one so we go chronologically. And here we go. So if you wanted to export this to Excel or your preferred business intelligence tool, uh, you could do that easily now. And you'll see days where you do have dates and sales for that date and missing data. And that's fine. That's what you wanted to accomplish. Um, let's use a common table expression though and quickly look at uh, weekly sales using this table. So let's call this with uh, our base table as that. And we're going to select um, bt.gs. And actually, you know what? Let's extract. Let's use two. No, yeah, let's use extract bt.gs week from bt.gs and we're going to sum bt.sales I'm going to go up here and alias this as sales from base table bt and we're going to have to group by the first column and let's order by one and there you have it. Now we have the uh, the week number, the sum of sales, and we can easily see that the data for this DVD rental database is somewhat limited. It's not a continuous series that goes on through many, many years. Okay, so that's a great way to handle missing dates. Hope you enjoyed the lecture.